Okay, hi everyone. Now, you may or may not remember that a while back I made a video about why you should have your own photography website. And in that video I suggested several ways in which you could achieve this. And one of them was to use a dedicated photography website platform such as SmugMug. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with SmugMug should you decide that this is the route you want to go. I'm going to show you some of the benefits of it. I'm going to show you the different features and I'm going to, we're going to go in and I'm going to show you how you can get started with building your website, how simple it is and also how simple it is to set it up to sell your photos. If you want to sell your photos, then uh, SmugMug is a really good option. It's really, really easy to set up and it's really, really easy to sell. So I will show you now how we do that. Now, uh, first of all, I will say that I'm an affiliate of SmugMug and I have my own SmugMug website alongside my own website itself. And uh, as an affiliate, I can also offer you a 15% discount off your first package if you decide that you want to go this route okay now uh, I'll put a link in the description down here on the video which will give you that 15% now there's no voucher needed no code you simply if you click my affiliate link you have to click my affiliate link it will automatically put the discount there and what happens is uh, you don't have to pay straight away you get a 14 day trial period completely free you don't even need to enter your credit card details you simply sign up and you get a 14 day trial period and if at the end of that trial period you decide to purchase one of the plans the 15 percent discount is automatically applied to this so as i said you can find it in my uh in the description below the link you'll also see it on uh, any of my articles where i mention smug mug in particular this article you're looking at now which is on my blog i have an article called how to make money with photography and if you scroll down to the section where i talk about smug mug here you'll see that there is uh, an affiliate link here and an ad here all of these if you click them will take you through to smug mug here you can see and if you click try it now you can see straight away you'll get 15 percent off when you subscribe so it's applied it's there okay that's all you need to do okay that's good so on the main smug mug website if you want to have a look around and see what you get it's a really good option not only can you build your own website you can upload the full resolution photos and those full resolution photos are kept on the server so it can also act as a photo storage site and you get unlimited as it says here unlimited full resolution resolution photo storage custom photo privacy and sharing uh, so what you can also do is you can uh, protect the images on your website you can set them to uh, so nobody can right click and save the images from your website so there's really good security there uh, you can build a portfolio a website and the security as I say is second to none you don't have to worry about any of that yourself this is probably one of the easiest ways to get yourself a website the other option I mentioned WordPress which I'll do another video on uh, is relatively easy too but requires a bit more work and a bit more knowledge whereas something like smug mug if you don't want to do any of that this is the easiest option okay quality photo printing so you can actually order your own prints through here or you can sell prints through here depending on which package you decide to buy and the prints are printed they have a number of different uh, printing companies around the world which they use the one that I use in particular is Loxley in the UK and they are superb so everything is done there for you okay it's lots of sales tools photo editing integration real human support should you need support if you're having problems okay so 
there we go if we scroll down here there's a variety of other things more in more detail uh, about what you get with smug mug okay now if you look at the features here okay and plans here okay so features quite simply access storage you can click each of those to, to look into each bit in more details uh, and you can look at the plans there are four plans a basic power portfolio and pro you can click here for an overview of all of them okay so the basic as it says if you click learn more it'll give you more information about what you get for this the power now you want the in this case the portfolio if you want to sell your photos then you need at least the portfolio option okay so if you want to sell prints then you can do it through the website and all orders are fulfilled by one of these labs you get to choose which lab you want to use uh, you can sell digital photos video downloads everything you can set pricing site-wide and you can set your own markup uh, you so you can set the amount for example and you keep 85% of that markup so it's very very simple if you want to sell then portfolio is the minimum if that you need and then if you really want to go the full hog you can go pro okay so these are the options uh, you can choose power if you want to just have a portfolio a website to showcase if you want to deal with all your own sales your own prints then you can do that this way uh, you can order your own prints yourself uh, then you can sell them on if you want to of course but uh, if you want to actually let smug mug take care of the sales fulfillment of all the orders to your customers then you need at least the portfolio plan okay uh, you can use your own uh, domain name on there and everything so these are the options that you have okay okay so um, I have the portfolio plan okay so let's go take a look at the website that I've done now I'm just building my website right now uh, as an example so I'll show you very quickly what my website looks like now I've only just started okay and I've just built a very basic uh, gallery and everything but there's so much more that you can do here and these are all for sale uh, and what's really great what I'm really impressed about with uh, smug mug is the SEO on there now I've done nothing I've just built a gallery and started a couple I've actually got two galleries and I've just started putting photos in but I'm, I'm only a fraction into building my site and I've done nothing to promote this I've I've not told anyone about it I've not sent any links out I'm still building the site yet my photos I can see in the stats are getting loads of views already so imagine what I could do if I actually start to promote the site okay so let's go look behind the scenes now if you want to log in down here there'll be an owner login button should you choose to show it there or you can set your own direct link there the owner login will take you to the login page okay and here we are behind the scenes now it's very simple obviously there's a big upload button here so one of the first things you want to do is start uploading your photos now you can choose to upload it into a brand new gallery into an existing gallery or even upload a whole folder okay let's say I've got two galleries already so let's say I want to uh, upload one into an existing gallery okay now basic what you do is just simply create galleries and then you choose what you want to do with those galleries okay so I've got one cover image of course that's set I've got uh, a lakes gallery and a seascapes gallery so let's choose the seascapes gallery and upload a seascape so we just simply go here now uh, you can install a Windows app to make uploading simpler and easier you can upload from any of these features from your desktop or phone okay uh, you can even upload if you've got your images already on Flickr full-size images any of these options or from your own computer browse computer and choose 
the picture okay so let's go to one of my latest seascapes there we go Strunyan okay so I'm going to upload this picture just simply double click upload it automatically and there it is it's done now I can continue to upload more or I can close this it will take me to my gallery and there it is okay now if I want to see how it looks I can view on photo site here's my seascapes gallery and there's the photo there now I can reorganize these of course so so we can go up here click organize gallery and here I can just simply move things around so I can reorder the images any way I want so it's that simple okay let's go back to the photo site homepage okay now uh, if I want to create a new gallery I can simply click create create a new gallery folder or even create a new web page okay uh, but let's say for argument's sake I'm going to create a new gallery okay so gallery preset I'm going to give the gallery a title so I'm going to create mountains gallery give it a description so oh, in this gallery you can browse and purchase because I'm selling some of my best photos of mountains okay now in here you can put some keywords relating to it so mountains separate with a comma Alps because I have a lot of alpine mountain photos yeah alpine scenery okay I, I've got a lot of photos from Slovenia so I'm gonna put Slovenia in there okay I won't do them all now but you, this is basically where you put any keywords relating to your gallery I can choose a featured image okay I need to upload an image first I don't have any mountain images up there yet okay and the URL is going to simply be mountains okay so my URL will be ianmiddleton.smugmug.com slash mountains and create the gallery okay now I'm going to add a photo let's go back here and let's choose one photo to get started or more photos even let's go to here got lots of mountain shots here okay okay so let's start with this one this one yeah and while that's uploading I can go back and look for more here we are I've got lots of shots here of the Camney Caps so I've got another one here double click back and browse this one okay right here I've got some mountain shots I'm gonna choose this one and this one and this one upload three if you hold down the control button you can select multiple images okay and they're all uploading as you can see okay so we close that and there they are now I can again select the order in which they're shown There we go okay and it's that simple to create a gallery so now I can select a picture and up here 
I can view the picture. Big. Okay. I can edit the picture, download the picture. So that's why I say if you've uploaded the full version and for some reason you lost it, it's you can just simply download it from here. Or I can delete the picture. Okay. If I go to edit, then I can edit the title, caption, keywords. I can add a watermark if I want to. Edit effects, crop, rotate, you know, the usual stuff that you can edit. We go back again to settings. Now, because I've uploaded a few pictures, now I can choose my featured image. Okay, so I can choose this one if I want. Save. Now, if I view on my photo site, now I can see how that looks. And if I don't like it, uh, I can reposition it. Okay. So I could put it like that. Shows a bit more. And save. I can go back to settings. If I don't like that, I can just delete it here. And I can choose another one. So maybe I'll try this one. See how this one looks. go reposition this one looks a lot better okay so you can see you've got uh, the title here my description is here and then all of my pictures if we scroll over we can see the descriptions are already there now the descriptions and titles are already there because I already had them in my IPTC data um, so that's basically something that you do in if you're in Photoshop uh, you go to the file info section and you fill in that information if it's already there then it's automatically imported into the data here okay if you haven't okay let's go back to organize gallery you can click it for example and as I showed you, you can then go in and edit. Now everything's here because I uh, already had it in the file info section of the image itself. If not, then you can enter it here manually. Okay, that's simple. Let's go back to our gallery again. Okay, now you can choose the style of the gallery and the theme. Uh, you can customize the gallery yourself. Okay, now down here you've got all these options that you can use to customize your galleries. You can add social icons, add a logo, which I've already done up here, you see. Uh, add a menu, which I've already done, of course. Yeah, this is uh, all set across the whole of the website itself. Okay, I'll go into uh, more details in another video, but first of all, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to upload your images. So, we go to preview. Okay, here's how your gallery looks. That's the way I've got it set up. So you can click, and because I've already got the uh, option to sell my photos, everything is done automatically immediately I get by this photo now of course I get this because I'm logged in if you're not logged in you won't see this and here are options for buy all the different uh, products people can buy this on and everything's done automatically as I said okay now if, if you're happy with everything click publish publish now okay now if we go to my website here we are you can now see that this is now been added to my home page this new gallery click the view click the view 
There it is. Okay. Okay, now if we go back to our main section where our galleries are, then up here you can choose settings and then you can set up uh, security and sharing photo protection social and various options here so here's the basics of course security and sharing now this is uh, important now I've got it set to public yeah but you can tick visibility and you can choose it to be private if you want you can choose it to be unlisted but uh, send people a link now you can do this on individual galleries as well now this is for uh, the whole uh, if you do it here it's the bulk gallery settings but what you can do here for example is click a particular gallery let's say the mountains gallery I've just chosen I could decide to just set that to unlisted and only allow people to view this gallery with a link so I would obviously send them a link so you can do it on individual galleries or if you uncheck uh, and click this you can do it in bulk okay uh, again access anyone or people with a password you can decide uh, you can check this for guest uploading you can create a custom URL for guests to upload directly to the gallery if you want peop other people to upload web searchable okay you can select no if you don't want this to be found on search engines of course but in most cases we do so we want to make sure that that's set of course it's set like it's set uh, to site setting by default uh, smug mug searchable yeah yes because within the smug mug community of websites you can also search other people's photos so you can hide the owner yeah now photo protection that's the best thing you want if you click this yeah maximum display size all but original or original now you don't want the original actually you don't want that to be shown because um, even though uh, especially if you haven't if you haven't set the right click protect then people could actually download your full size image which you don't want them to do so you could set the maximum size that your image can be displayed at the best option is all but original so uh, people viewing on big screens will also see a good quality image right click message turn that on yeah and what will happen is that when someone tries to right click they won't be right click will be disabled and they'll get a little message I'll show you that in a minute so we'll leave that checked you can apply a watermark here yeah if you want to okay I personally um, if you're gonna apply a sorry if you're gonna apply a watermark it should be very very small watermark in the corner some people put it right across the whole image they think they're protecting the image but in most cases it can be removed but what's worse is that um, you're putting off potential buyers if think about it if you wanted to buy an image and you saw a big watermark across it you wouldn't actually be able to see the image properly in which case you wouldn't be able to see whether this image is really good or not or whether this image would really suit what you're looking for so I personally think if you're going to put it down here in the corner that's all you need nothing more but I'm going to leave it off download buttons uh, click this and you can also check this to require a password so if you want to give people the option if you want to sell yourself for example and uh, people would pay you you could then direct them to this photo with a password where they could then download the full resolution file okay so these are all options that you have okay you can show sharing options yeah leave that on that means then that people can share this on social media you can allow comments if you want people to comment on your photo I don't I'll leave that off shopping okay visitors shopping cart shop view uh, various other things we won't go too much into that the gallery style I've already set but you can see that here yeah this is the theme 
uh, I've chosen college landscape is called uh, various other things like this again we won't go too much into that now okay let's click OK you're applying this to the whole of your website so all your galleries yes I want to do that there we go okay now let's view on the photo site click a gallery let's look at the photo I uploaded here right click oh these photos are copyrighted by their respective owners all rights reserved okay so my image is now right click protected anyone tries to right click and save my image they get this message okay so there you have it uh, that's basically how you upload your photos and organize them into galleries and folders in the next video I'll show you how you can then put your site together create new pages choose a theme layout and all of that stuff and of course in future videos I will also show you how you can set up the selling side the sales side of your website should you choose that option and various other features okay so uh, thanks for watching and remember if you are interested in checking out smug mug then uh, click the link in my description down below and um, you'll get the 15% discount automatically applied but as I said you've got a 14 day trial period uh, so you don't have to enter any credit card details you just simply sign up uh, start building your gallery check it out and if after 14 days you're happy go ahead and purchase one of the plans or if you're not happy then just say no thank you and look for one of the other options okay so thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time